Hello hackers. In this video, I'm going to go through a page on this website about a strategy when playing FreeSiv. Specifically to win a military victory. Okay, so um first is a settlement error. Settle first city on tile with specials or on a tile of flat grassland or on a coast. So the criterion for setting a city uh, would be if this um, tile in which the settler unit is on has a special or it is a flat grassland or um, there are special tiles surrounding this um, uh, settler unit, or it is on a it is on coast. It says uh, after that, research alphabet and immediately start producing settler, and then keep building settlers and settle cities as much as possible. Walk on tiles. Of cities further from the capital, um, I guess um, you could irrigate flatlands or build mines. I guess um, I tend to think that irrigation is uh, more important than mines because it's to do with the growth of a city. Um, another thing is um, when you make an early contact with the uh, enemy, um, they will try to encroach on your land and keep spawning cities uh, inside your territory. So you need a way of stopping that maybe block them with some units or something like that um, so irrigate flat plains and grassland first because um, they when irrigated they produce food um, then you could also transform other other terrain like swamps jungles into flat grasslands or forests and also build roads between cities because not only does it serve the purpose of transport of units but also increases trade um, um, trade value I guess um, and if, it, if you're on a small island um, then prior prioritize building tr triumphs by researching map making and look for more land to settle. Okay, so um, if you're in contact with another player at this point and they are hostile, then you should aim to change your government to monarchy as soon as possible. If um, you didn't meet another player or they are not hostile towards you, then it, the tax advises us to skip to trade section. Okay, but this kingdom section is optional, as I said. It is if you are in a hostile relationship with with a player that you have met at this early stage of the game. So monarchy government is best suited for early war. War. So set the monarchy government if you intend to go to war early. Okay, you, war should be fought and ended as soon as possible, not allowing enemies to make progress technologically. They'll cap, catch you up and surpass you if you give them enough time. So you have to end it quickly. When switch to monarchy, set the science to 70%. This is probably the maximum allowed. This is an uh, improvement from uh, anarchy or des des despotism. 
So that's why um, other more advanced governments are uh, favorite. Build city walls and barracks on capital and on frontier cities. Okay, city walls because it will give you defensive bonus against land unit and barracks because you, you're gonna use these cities on the frontier and also your capital to produce military units and you want them to be veteran to get any uh, any bonus as you can muster okay produce coinage in other cities okay so this is the plan at this early stage this is the war plan following technology goals should be followed iron working so you, you get legions mathematics so you get catapult and chivalry so you get knights so this is the plan MS at least five catapults defended by legions or knights and attack and take enemy cities as much as you can yeah if the war ends or you discover chivalry then go to the next section the age of trade and this is interesting it advises us to disband units after after the war okay so you uh, you might think uh, all the effort and money that you invested to build up the army but it advises us here to disband them when you um, finish fighting so age of trade section research currency so that you can build marketplace on all of your cities okay and while you're building marketplace research trade <coughs> um, so by the the, the uh, rationale here is by the time you finish building marketplaces in all your cities you, should, you would have already researched trade so here it says half, half of your cities produce caravans and the rest coinage or temples okay you need caravans to establish trade routes so you inv you um, invest half of your cities to produce caravans for that purpose use caravans to establish trade routes to gain gold and research point if you turn on the city trade routes view this will assist you so this is a, an option on the main um, in the game inside the game under the um, view section uh, you can turn on the city trade route view okay after trade is researched set the goal to republic when literacy is researched um, have the city with the highest production build the great library wonder okay so it says here the civilization which builds the great library gets every advance that at least two other civilizations have achieved so that should that could be very useful because if you are concentrating on one path of the tree in the technological tree in the game you, you, um, you might uh, fall behind in other areas but if you have the great library wonder uh, it will compensate to a degree okay to lev level lev level up the discrepancy in your um, research directions okay so um, choose the city with the highest production stop building the great library wonder and and build a heap of caravans to accelerate building it okay so build it finish it as quick as you can using the caravans okay says here this is interesting as well so at this stage you, you might be tempted to um, irrigate like hell and try to build aqueducts and stuff and try to um, build up your cities at this early stage but here this document is advising otherwise it says make sure during this era don't let cities grow, grow too big limit to six um, population six or eight if city has a temple because the temple makes one unhappy citizens content um, just a note you need aqueducts to grow beyond eight I think 
yeah so one way of doing it to um, stunt the growth of a city is to go to a city dialogue and tell the governor to restrict growth okay uh, next section is the Republic once researched Republic switch to the government immediately and then set the science um, to the max and set the goal to democracy um, and uh, while you you set the goal to democracy prioritize banking um, technology okay so if city reaches its trade route limit then um, gain more money by building bank Previ in the previous section we built marketplace in all our cities so you can build a bank so if you can't make any more trade routes then build a bank in that city so you gain extra money okay and uh, build some more caravans to finish uh, making up all possible trade routes okay says here again don't build aqueducts, colosseums, or anything with the upkeep of one, except for temples. Avoid war until modern age. Okay, this is the advice. So we had um, some war in um, early on. Um, yeah, here. So if if we just um, reminding you, this section is optional because. Only if you have a uh, met a hostile enemy, then you change your government to monarchy and wage an early war. Otherwise, it's advising you avoid wars until modern age. So after you've set your goal on democracy, you, you have a chance to build up your cities. That means increase your population. So it says. Uh, Okay, so once you research democracy, don't start revolution until Ma Michelangelo's chapel, which requires monotheism, J.S. Bach's uh, cathedral, I think, that requires theology, and A. Smith Trading Company, which requires the economy. Okay, so we build, start to build up our cities once uh, we have. Uh, um, Solid, 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 solidated um, our economy, so we get enough. M we uh, we are coming in enough money, okay. Before we are building up, okay. That's why in the republic section says um, build banks and establish all possible trade routes, okay. So you you have to consolidate the economy before you choose to build up, okay. Um, so it says uh, set the goal to either theology that way um, you're building the uh, Michael Angelo's chapel and JX Box Cathedral first or economy that means uh, you're gonna build the A Smith Smith trading company first okay but you the thing is you have to build all three eventually and as soon as possible Stop building wonders as soon as they are available and build a heap of caravans to complete it as soon as possible. So that's uh, that makes sense. Once all three are built, start to build up, okay? So not only you have to take care of your economy before building up, but to build up you also have to build these three wonders, okay, before building up. Okay, because higher population creates unhappy citizens, okay? So, um, you can't survive with unhappy citizens on the, the Republic, okay? So once the old three are built, start to build up. It's just saying chapel and box many, make many citizens content and the A.S. Smith company allows buildings with an upkeep of one to be free of cost. cost um, now, because we decided to build up, we can now build an aqueduct if they are needed. But if your population is not yet there, then then build library instead. Okay. Now.
I'll set the goal to industrialization once economy and theology are discovered. Okay. So next section is industrial era. Once uh, railroad is discovered, replacing road with roads with railroad. Okay. And also start building Darwin's voyage wonder, which gives two immediate technological advances. So if you if you use time it carefully once this uh, wonder is completed you get two technology for free so um, we would um, prefer it if uh, if um, some technologies towards industrialization that require um, a, a lot of um, light bulbs, but you get them for free if you time them um, carefully with this wonder. Okay, so it, this is uh, advising you, but this time don't hurry it. Okay, just leave it. Um, okay, say so don't start building factories just yet. Okay, so okay, so set new technological goal to electricity. Okay, so this is the timing here. By this time, the Darwin's voyage should be done. So you get uh, two free technology toward your goal of. Um, Industrialization, I guess. Um, no, actually, it says here set the new technology goal to electricity. So, um, when the Darwin's voyage wonder is done, you will get two free tech towards electricity. Okay, then the next. Um, Technology that we can um, learn is ele electronics, and um, and then build Hoover Dam. Okay, so Hoover Dam boosts um, boosts production in all your cities. I think it says it work works as if you had a hydro plant in every city. Okay, so it's advising you uh, only after completing completing the wonder them then start building factories and only in the biggest cities okay because um, um, Hoover them mu multiplies the effect of factories okay it uh, improves the production hammer significantly okay so it's it's advising you um, build the Hoover them first before you start building factories just the advice okay and then the set the new technology goal to either explosives which allows engineers and the engineers as we will learn in the next section um, you can irrigate the irrigated tile once more to become farm farmland or something like that yeah farmland or the recycling technology for recycling center this is for reducing pollution Says so change to democracy whenever at this point, but set the luxury to ten percent. Um, next section is building up part two. It's a really um in interesting uh, portion, as you will see. Deal with pollutions by building mass transit, recycling centers, and later solar plants. Have workers and engineers ready so they can clean them up when they appear. This is to avoid global warming caused by pollution. Okay, after explosives are discovered, as I said, that does allow you to build engineers. So upgrade all workers to engineers and amass an army of engineers. This is really interesting. Concentrate all engineers on one tile. Yes, this is possible. And then transform desert, hills, tundras, mountains to flat plains. They can be irrigated. Says so it's advising you 
just leave one um, um, to irrigate flat lands and the, um, continue with the rest to transform all the um, tiles around your territory that are not flat. So it's flattening every single tile in your um, in your empire that can be flattened. Okay. Um, so this will result in all the tiles around cities flattened and irrigated. Okay. So it's saying telling you here, if you have an engineer, engineer has a special ability that irrigated tile can be irrigated once more into farmland. Okay. And this requires refri refrigeration technology. Okay. Yeah, so I guess refrigeration is uh, earlier technology um, that industrialization requires. So if you if you already um, got up to industrialization, I guess you you already have refrigeration. Okay. Okay, so I just said that um, I, I just uh, made a note here that engineers can flatten terrain and irrigate twice to make it a farmland. Okay, so now, oh sorry, it says here it's industrialization has nothing to do with refrigeration. It says set tech goal to refrigeration. Okay, but sanitation is before refrigeration. Uh, when sanitation is discovered, build sewer systems. It allows city to grow larger than 12. Um, have engineers turn irrigated land to farmland. That's what I'm talking about. Build supermarkets requires refrigeration as soon as you can. This is like the super granary that takes advantage of farmlands to boost food storage. Okay, so all the f um, farmlands that you you irrigate, uh, if you build a supermarket after that, um, your cities will grow exponentially because it takes into account all the farmlands that you irrigated. And if you have some coastal cities, why not also build offshore platforms? It requires miniaturization because it boosts shield shield resource from ocean tiles that are worked by the city. Okay. So here it's reminding you the general flow. The general flow is you flatten all the tiles using your um, engineers. Um, you know, remember you can concentrate multiple engineers into a single tile to flatten it faster and then irrigate, it, irrigate them to farmland and then build supermarkets. Okay? This combo will make cities grow exponentially. Okay, so during this time your population is going to skyrocket. Okay, not only that, all the buildings you mentioned are very expensive, so make sure to increase the tax and luxury rate um, and also build universities or wonders that increase science. Okay, so once the engineers have flattened the land, um, disband all of them except for a few to deal with pollution. Okay. Here is again, it's um, uh, adv ad advising you to disband un unwanted units. Okay, the last section, the modern era. So it says, um, if done right, you should be a thousand years ahead of other players. This is the era where the war should be started. Once all necessary technology has been taken care of, it's time to start building a massive army. So the tech goals are combine arms to robotics to ro rocketry. This will cover many modern military units, using ar including armor, carrier, bombers, helicopters, howitzer, cruise missile, and Aegis cruiser. While researching these goals, goals uh, progressively lower the science tax rate little by little, and, and ex um, instead increase the luxury, because uh, with all the uh, large cities you have, the research build will hardly be affected, and if you uh, raise the luxury up more than 30 percent then people will start to celebrate and this is um, critical because 
says here, having happy citizens is cru crucial to building an army in a democratic state and to wage a war. Yeah. Um, I think this document, uh, the source document, was a little outdated. And uh, from, I think, FreeCIP version 3, there are other forms of government like fundamentalists. But I guess this sticks with the waging war as a democratic state. So let's see if it works in uh, practice. Build wonders like cure for cancer requires genetic engineering or Shakespeare's theater requiring medicine to help keep people happy and content. And this is good. Build Statue of Liberty requiring democracy. So you, 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 ha you have an option of building this way early if you need. So, um, this, is, this has a um, use in, in a war. You can um, dissolve Senate and declare war before the ceasefire, and then in the same turn, um, uh, return to democracy without a uh, period of anarchy. I don't really get what, what this is, but it has a use in war because um, it reduces the period of anarchy when you. Um, when you fail to, um, you fail to stop um, revolting cities and stuff like that. Yeah. Build the barracks three in all cities, airports in a few, and port facilities in coastal cities. So all these city improvements create veteran units. Okay, barracks three produces veteran land units, airports, veteran um, air force, port facilities, facilities veteran navy okay so it's suggesting you now how you're gonna use how you're gonna conduct uh, blitzkrieg okay bomb enemy cities with bombers carried by carriers that's modern invade them it's like world war two yeah invade them with a helicopter that's new and then that's take the city okay because helicopter is like a flying land unit okay it can be used to take cities and then have transport to carry armies of tanks or armors and howitzers to enemy territory and start a blitzkrieg. Okay, so can't wait to try it. I have to wait on to modern era, but if I follow this to a T, um, should be very interesting to see if it works, as it says. After rocketry, let the research handle itself and uh, decrease the science rate to ten percent. Once you're researching future text, you don't have to set it to anything. Um, at this point, you'll be able to conquer the world and be the only player left remaining. Be patient and make careful decisions. Okay, so I can't wait to try this in practice. Um, yeah, happy hacking.